Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. In today's video, I'm going to share with you three resources that you need to know to learn single cell RNA seq analysis. The first one, uh, is of course, is called SURAT. So if you work on single cell RNA seq, you probably know the SURAT package. It's probably one of the most popular uh, package for analyzing single cell RNA seq uh, data. So this is uh, is developed by the Satija Lab in the New York Genome Center, and it's been maintained for over 10 years. So if you go to their website and go to this tab here, vignettes, and there are many uh, basic vignettes, for example, PBMC 3K guided tutorial. This is the most basic tutorial to get you started for analyzing single cell RNA seq data. Okay, so you can go over this. And there are other more advanced vignettes, for example, uh, data integration and, or multi assay analysis. For example, if you want to integrate both single cell RNA seq and single cell ATAC seq data. And more recently, they also added support for spatial transcriptomic data. Okay. So the next resource is called uh, Orchestrating Single Cell Analysis with Bioconductor. So this is a very comprehensive book uh, for you to learn how to analyze single cell rna data in the Bioconductor framework. So Bioconductor is an ecosystem containing many different bioinformatics R packages. Okay, so by the way, I will have all these links in the description of this video so you know uh, where to find them. Okay, so for this book, it's very comprehensive. It has the basic, basic and advanced and even multi-sample workflows. And so all of those analysis is built upon the single cell experiment object. So in SURAT, so everything is built upon the SURAT objects. And for bioconductor, uh, single cell experiment is the uh, default uh, uh, default uh, objects that you work with. And of course, if you want to use tools from Bioconductor and it requires single cell experiment object, you can convert the thread object to single cell experiment and vice versa. Okay. And let's just take a look at one of the uh, chapters here. So, and if you look at here on the left here for this book, you have a very comprehensive Introductions for quality control, normalization, feature selection, dimension reduction, and clustering, and droplet processing, all the stuff. So it has both the code here and also the output to make it very easy to understand. Okay. And the last resource that I want to share with you is called the best practice. Uh, single cell RNA seq uh, analysis. So this is well, uh, is written by the ScanPy group. So if you use Python, probably use ScanPy. And and if you look at the uh, the chapters here, then you also have introduction, pre-processing, visualization, and how to identify cellular structures, right, dealing with conditions deconvolution, even they include a single cell ATAC and a spatial data there as well, okay? So let's look at the one of them here. So I find those uh, uh, materials very helpful for you to just understand the big picture of how single cell data is generated, for example, like so from a sequencer, you get the BCL files, then you get the RUOF FASTQ files, you send to the reads, and you can align them into transcriptome, and then you uh, can get uh, eventually get this count matrix. So rows are genes, columns are cells, or uh, rows are cells, columns are genes, depending on whether you use Python or R. So no matter what kind of framework okay, you use, like ScanPy has its own uh, way to store different data uh, and threat has a different way, and uh, uh, bioconductor single cell experiment has a different way. But the core of the single cell 
tiny sick experiment, experiment is this output. This is the count matrix uh, genes by cells. Okay, and what we really want to do is just to make sense of this huge matrix, 20,000 genes by sometimes millions of cells. Okay, so although this is a Python uh, based, but I find it's really helpful just to understand um, the uh, the tricks and whether uh, you need to uh, pay attention to certain steps. So those are all common things, no matter what, whether you're using Python or using R. And uh, finally, so although it's kind of unfortunate because there are three different uh, major frameworks for analyzing single cell RNA seq data, and sometimes the uh, parameters and how how the uh, how the developers actually decide a small things it can be a little bit different. For example, uh, the log two fold change calculated by SWAT and uh, and SCANPI they, they are very different, and it's just because some of the pseudo counts uh, the decision they they add is is is, is different. So. Uh, I highly actually uh, recommend also to read this blog post on uh, on this issue. And finally, I have given a talk on single cell analysis best practice and unsolved problems. I have uh, the slides and the videos, um, so hopefully you can also learn uh, the best practice from from this video. Okay. And that's it for today. I will have uh, the all the links here uh, from. Uh, in the description of the video and hope you can learn a lot from uh, from those links and that's it for today and i hope to see you next time make sure you subscribe if you find it